primarily with with um, talking about the Great Escape, but also you've got the the new album as well, haven't you? Yeah, uh, yeah, which yeah. Has just just come out. Um, Beware believers uh, on va- on bad vibrations record. And how long has it been in gestation for? <laughs> Have you had the COVID lockdown issues or anything like that? Or we wrote it in the summer of 2019. <laughs> Yeah. off the back of, off the back of the debut we like we we just uh we wanted to go on the momentum of the first record and get get it done as fast as possible so uh, we were recording in january 2020 then obviously pandemic two years we were like let's wait until we can tour it properly and that just kept changing kept getting pushed back pushed back pushed back um and then yeah finally came out april this year we were able to tour it properly we went to we went to South by Southwest West with it, and uh, it's just gone down so well. The reaction to it has been honestly almost overwhelming. Like some of the like the the press, the playlists, the, the reviews, everything's been so so good. Yeah, it, I think it kind of shocked us a little bit because we kind of we got a bit complacent and like it was two years on Poe with like not really knowing what was going to happen or what's going on, and so for it to have done so well after such a long wait it's just yeah it's been it's been great it's been really really nice being rewarded for your patience and understanding <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> yeah because obviously a lot of a lot of people i've talked to over the over the last few months a couple of years have been you know yeah it's been a difficult situation isn't it for a lot of people and uh, you're not the first band or artists i've come across who've recorded no. uh, a while ago and it just waited yeah. for the right time so yeah, so at least uh, at least um, you know things are happening, aren't they? And uh, you're, yeah. you're you're on the road or hit, you know, doing gigs, and um, you've just done a tour, haven't you? So um, how did that go? Yeah, just came back off it uh, a couple of weeks ago. Again, amazing. We've been to some of those cities multiple, multiple times on the first album, and like we've been a band a while. So when we were just doing EPs and everything, and it was crazy to see the difference. In these shows like there were big bigger rooms which we were a little bit nervous about because i think people were a bit nervous about buying tickets so the pre-sale was fine we weren't like very nervous but i was we were a bit like we don't know how these shows are going to go and every night was completely packed basically sold out on the door the walk-up was massive yeah and just playing to these fucking these massive big rooms in cities we've, we've been going to for years to play yeah. small small rooms it's, it was just great it's like yeah like amsterdam we've been going to for years and we did 350 in the, in the upstairs of paradiso Someone got engaged at the at the gig and like there's just every night was honestly better than the last. It was Glasgow on a Monday. We were like, that's gonna be we didn't know how it was gonna go because like we've always had trouble in Scotland and it was probably one of the best ones on the tour. It was yeah, it was really it was really it just took it all by surprise, I think. And we're just enjoying it. Basically, yeah, we're enjoying the fact that everyone really likes this new album and the gigs are getting busier and spirits are high. And and you're coming to Brighton to do the great escape, obviously. Um, which yeah. hasn't happened for three years either. Uh, they did an online version last year, but um, yeah. I took a pass on that one. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not quite the same, is it? Um, so yeah, everybody's pretty stoked for that. That would be uh, amazing. Uh, have you ever done The Great Escape before? Well, I think this is why this is going to be quite special as well, because we've always done... For years and years, we were doing alternative escape stuff. We've, we've done... Some of my favourite shows ever have been alternative escape shows in Brighton um, but this is the first year actually part of the official festival so that's really nice to have been asked to do that um, and yeah I miss it I've got such good memories of like when the band was first like we were first starting and like even before the first album came out we would always get down to Brighton it was just always such a fun weekend because everyone's there and like you just like they're yeah. with all your mates it's usually it's sunny <laughs> yeah <laughs> usually um, <laughs> And uh, it is, I love that festival. It's just, it's such a fun festival to go to. And then you get, unlike all the other bands are there. So like, it's not like you're just going and seeing all your friends. It's like you're going to see all your friends' bands as well. And they're always playing. And like, it's just, it's always so much fun. So I'm very yeah. happy to be going back again this year after, yeah, after so long of not doing it. And I think, I think everyone will be in the same boat as well. Cause, it, cause we did South by obviously a couple in, in March. And I felt that kind of had a similar vibe to what maybe, maybe Great Escape is going to be like in that yeah. because it didn't happen for so long, everyone was just so happy to have it back that there was this just fun and like happy energy throughout the whole thing. Even if it is extremely stressful and busy for everyone, yeah, there's just like a, an underlying 
harmony of happiness and like everyone's just really happy to be back so yeah i think that'll probably be the same with brighton i'm hoping yeah no it's almost certain to be like that even yeah. if the sun isn't shining it'll be like that yeah um <laughs> Well, there's a good chance it won't be shining. Um, <laughs> sorry, I don't mean to be negative, but yeah. <laughs> reality of the Re- uh, realistic, yeah, Re- not negative, just realistic. So <laughs> you're, you're only doing the one show, is that right? At the moment, well, yeah, we're doing uh, Revenge on the Saturday night. Um, yeah, that possibly might change. I think we're t- talking about some other ones, but nothing is confirmed just yet. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, cool. that's the cool. that's the main one. Because yeah. I remember we've done the same. Uh, I can't remember what year it was, but I remember the worst we did was three in one day. By that, by the end of that, because like, our shows aren't like we don't just stand there and play; they're like they're pretty rowdy. Yeah. And I remember by, by the third one, I even like broke my microphone stand, and I was just I just remember sitting down at the end of the gig, but just properly broken. I was like, I think I've reached. Yeah, yeah. I think I've now know my limit now. <laughs> I think I've definitely reached it then. Uh, but normally we just go down and do like one one every day. So okay. yeah, it's gonna be nice just to come down and do do the one off. It's yeah, and I can put all our effort into it. Okay, but. cool. Um, so uh, beware believers, just going back to the album quickly, if that's okay. Mm. Um how, I mean in terms of a uh, Silver Tongues was the debut album, wasn't it? So um how do how do you feel? I mean, obviously it was recorded a while ago, but um in terms of development or change or anything else that you think made it different from the first album um, so pretty, pretty the, the biggest thing is that the first album was kind of a collection of songs that we'd written over a period of time like four or five years whereas where i believe is we wrote in about three or four months so we wrote it as an album as opposed to it being a collection of songs that we'd written and changed as we were writing and like so i feel it's it's way more cohesive it's way more to the point and uh it's just a in my opinion, it was a better album. It's just, yeah, it's it's nice yeah. and con- concise, and all the songs are all the songs fit really well together. Are, are different enough for it to be to, to be an interesting album too. Um, yeah, that's the main thing. It's just, yeah, we wrote it as an album, and also the previous songs we had written mainly with our previous drummer, whereas this, I believe, was we wrote with our more recent drummer, which is still he, he joined in like 2017, but we wrote all of those songs with him. Um, yeah. They're like the, the, the two main things, but mm. all in all, I think it's a more solid album and it's more of a rep- representation of what we like live, I think, as well, okay. uh, which is the most important thing for us. And um, yeah, I think we really managed to capture that more in Boy I Believe Us than we did with Silver Tongues. All right. And, and the album title, I'm not sure if it's referenced in the in the album at all, but um, can you talk about that at all? Um, it's still, it was kind of just the one that we could all agree on <laughs> uh we had a few different ones it was quite it was it was yeah, it was really it was really difficult naming it but it's it's mainly about because a lot of it was written around when brexit was just fully in everyone's face that's all anyone was speaking about it's all that was on the news a lot of like Nigel farage a lot of trump a lot of like fake news talk and all that stuff so it's kind of because a lot of the albums based on that it's it was mainly about or named after people who say what they want and don't have any repercussion for it, you know? So people mm-hmm. who like think that it's okay to just say whatever the fuck they want and not feel any reprise from it or any take any responsibility for it once it's been said. Um, so it's kind of roughly based on that whole idea and that the, the fake news projection kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. And Garden of England is obviously a song that's um, explicitly about brexit isn't it um yeah yeah I mean, it was quite... about, it, it was about like the, the xenophobia that brexit brought to just day-to-day conversation yeah. like stuff that probably people have like people would never have felt comfortable talking or saying before and then all of a sudden it was okay for them to say these kind of weirds or have those opinions and and not even want to have a conversation about their opinions just be like this is my opinion and it's okay for me to say that because this has happened it's like okay, you can have that opinion, but if you're not going to have a discourse with someone about why they might disagree with you, then that's completely pointless. <laughs> now that we're post-Brexit and had to deal with the pandemic and everything at the same time and uh, everything going on in Ukraine and 
cost of living crisis, all that sort of stuff. Um, it feels like there's lots of mixed feelings and emotions going on at the, right, at the moment, aren't there? On the one hand, people are really enjoying going out and absolutely loving seeing gigs, for instance, you know, just absolutely being joyful, I guess, you know, that kind of joy and yeah. therapeutic release and all these sort of things. But at the same time, you know, life is, uh, is, is we're, in a, we're in a weird place at the moment. Aren't yeah, we? <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. It is, yeah, it is weird because, again, there's always going to be something. It's like, uh, my friend said a good quote the other day. It's like, he was talking about, he'd, he's had like a few things happen with the pandemic that's, they like knocked his album back, or it cancelled his tour, and then he was going to do his first Russian tour, and that got cancelled because of all the Ukraine stuff. And but then at the same time, other good things are happening. So I can't remember what he said. It's like it's like being slapped with one hand, but then pulled in close for a hug with the other hand. It's like that's what life feels like at the moment. It's like there's always, whatever good stuff is happening, there's always going to be something around the corner that's bad to kind of fuck it up a bit. <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, it is interesting, isn't it? And again, I'm, I'm, I'm myself and most of the people I know just, I think, feel a bit hyper stressed because everyone's like overworked, everyone's catching up, everyone's not, haven't, hasn't been used to working or doing whatever they do so hard or so at regular speed for so long. Was it what it was like before or is it like just... Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's hard to know, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, or is it just everyone is more busy and there's more stuff going on? So yeah. it's, yeah, it's, I don't know. We are, we're, 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 we're developing and we're readjusting back to a life that is quite different, but also the same as before. So it's, there's all these new things and all this stuff has happened, but then we want to get back to what it was, but it, what it was isn't there anymore. It's something new and different. So it's, we're also adapting, but also ah, getting better. I don't know. Yeah. It's difficult. It's really hard. <laughs> difficult question. Sorry to ask that one, but no, it's uh, yeah. It's, it's, that's almost it. impossible to answer <laughs> but you know we, we only can rely on our own experiences and what we see so i suppose yeah hopefully it's a it's an experience that while bad in lots of ways at least um hopefully you know it'll uh give us new perspectives or you know some people so. new perspectives and uh but yeah thank god for live music yes absolutely <laughs> and it's oh, yeah, good to that's hit. it like live music's always been my release like be like whether it was when I, now, thankfully, I'm in a job that I actually quite like, albeit stressful. Before, I was always kind of working in food industry jobs, like like food trucks or bars. And playing live would be my release from those mundane, boring jobs that I was working just to be able to live in London and carry on playing yeah. music. So now I have the stress of earning, running my own business, and the band doing really well. But my release from that is playing live, and I can do that fully again. And it's not even just like my release, it's it's sharing that with everyone who has also been doing their own shit and who has gone through their own shit for the past years and you can see it in them, the release it gives them. Yeah. And uh, so it's like a big, cheap therapy session, basically. Thank you. And uh, are you coming back to play later in the year, just finally? Basically, America's in the equation now, so we're still figuring out the rest of the year, but we need to yeah. figure out when we're going to America before we book anything else. Sure. Okay. Uh, we missed Brighton off the last tour, so we'll be definitely doing it on the next tour. Yeah, yeah, you can't miss it twice. Come on. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. And we love Brighton. Oh, well, we did Resident, but uh, yeah, that was an install, not a gig, yeah. but um, yeah, <laughs> no, we will okay. definitely. All right, cheers for that, and uh, brilliant album. Well done, and um, Thanks, mate. see you in Brighton. No, no, thank you, mate. Cheers. See you later.